We're going to take a look at the series from 2 to infinity, minus 1 to the n, 3 to the n minus 1, divided by 5 to the n minus 3. We want to know if this series converges or diverges, and if it converges, what does it converge to? Note that this series starts at 2 and not at 0 or 1, as in previous examples. So first thing we're going to do is express the series in the following way. This is series from 2 to infinity, minus 1 to the n, 3 to the n times 3 to the minus 1, divided by 5 to the n times 5 to the minus 3. Now since minus 1, 3, and 5 are all raised to the nth power, we can combine them, and this is the series from 2 to infinity, minus 3 over 5 to the n, and then 3 to the minus 1 divided by 5 to the minus 3, that's 125 over 3. Now this looks like a geometric series with r being minus 3 fifths, that's a common ratio between terms, it's less than 1 and greater than minus 1, therefore this series will converge. Now we have to determine what it will converge to. Now a geometric series that starts at 2 has the following standard form, that is a form where we can use the formula for convergence. It has to look like this, a r to the n minus 2, and this will equal to a divided by 1 minus r, provided that r is less than 1 and greater than minus 1. Well in our case r is between minus 1 and 1 but the series doesn't quite look like the standard form series. So what we have to do is make it look like the series in standard form and to do that all we have to do is the following. So this is series from 2 to infinity. 125 over 3 will factor out minus 3 fifths squared and that leaves minus 3 fifths to the n minus 2 power. And now the next step will combine 125 over 3 with minus 3 fifths squared. So this is a series from 2 to infinity. 125 over 3. Minus 3 fifths squared is 9 over 25. And then times minus 3 fifths to the n minus 2 power. Now 125 divided by 3 times 9 over 25 is 15. So this is the summation from 2 to infinity. 15 times minus 3 fifths to the n minus 2 power. It is now in standard form. We can use the formula. This is a, which is 15, divided by 1 minus a negative 3 fifths. So this is 15 divided by 8 over 5 which is 75 divided by 8. This series converges to 75 over 8. Now we can do this in a different way, slightly different way, and that is if we look at the series, so here is our original series from 2 to infinity, it was minus 1 to the n, 3 to the n minus 1, divided by 5 to the n minus 3. We put it in slightly better form which was series from 2 to infinity, 125 divided by 3, and then times minus 3 fifths to the n. This is not in standard form, but we do recognize this is a geometric series with r equal to minus 3 fifths, which is between minus 1 and 1, so we know the series will converge. And another way of determining if the series, what series will converge to when it's in this form without putting it into standard form is to use this formula. First term of the series divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is r. Now the first term here will be when we plug in 2, 4, n. So that would be 125 over 3 times minus 3 fifths squared. So that's 125 over 3 again times 9 over 25 and that's equal to 15. And so the first term is 15. The common ratio R between terms is minus 3 fifths. So the series will converge to once again 15 divided by 1 minus a negative 3 fifths 
which is 15 divided by 8 over 5 and that is 75 divided by 8. So we have a couple of ways of doing it and either one is I think equally as easy or difficult about the same level of difficulty. For more videos visit www.mathprepvideos.com